All right, next one we'll do uh, a low kick fake, okay? So I'm gonna be targeting the rear leg, okay? So from here, this is how I do my natural uh, low kick to the rear leg. I step to the side and then I kick. So you, you notice how I'm stepping to the side enough where I'm gonna be away from that direct punch or any other direct punch, okay? And then obviously this hand is up here for, that, um, for the hook, okay? And then all I'm doing is just turning my hip over, but I'm not, I'm not like doing one of these kicks. That's a different type of kick. All I'm doing is boom, kick here. Kick, so let's just face this way real quick. So notice how I'm stepping deep and I'm hitting with my shin. See that? I'm hitting with, with my shin, not my foot. Uh, the foot can be used, but I'll go into that in, in, uh, after I finish explaining this technique. So again, this is my real technique. Now, let's say he starts blocking. So he blocks, now I might hurt my shin. Again, uh, the, the, whole, the whole objective of throwing low kicks in Thailand is in the first and second round. That's it. After the first and second round, uh, third, fourth, fifth, you cannot throw any more low kicks because they, they, they're not going to get you any points. Okay, Low kicks are only meant in Thailand for you to not uh, TKO your opponent. And that's it. That's why you do it early on in the, in the fight. Because first, second round, you want to just get your opponent out of there as, quick, as quickly as possible. Okay? So again, let's say it's the first round. I started doing those low kicks. Maybe, he's, maybe I did like three clean ones. Now he's getting hurt. Now he has to block. Because if he doesn't, one or two or more of those low kicks, he's going to be done. So now, but I know that. So now when he blocks, I say to myself, okay, I know I, if I just throw a couple more of those low kicks, he's going to be out of there. But he's blocking, so what do I have to do? I have to create a fake now. So now when I fake, I'm here, pop, then I go for that low kick, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm indicating, again, using my hip, then I change. I do something else, just like a flick jab or uppercut or a hook. It doesn't matter what you do. I'm not trying to knock him out with this. Even a straight, straight left here, and then he puts that leg down, and then you go for that low kick, okay? So again, my real low kick, boom. He, he, he uh, blocks now, watch my body on the fake, everything the same up until that midway point. You see that hip and these arms? Now I change something, then you come in with that low kick again, okay? So again, one more time, boom, he blocks, boom, up, boom, boom, okay? Um, if he, let's say, keeps that leg up, so let's say I'm here, I throw that fake, he keeps it up, I can just shove, boom. So I don't have to throw that punch. Just literally throw a, sh a slight little shove. He's not going to be sitting here like this. He's going to definitely be trying to regain his balance with that lead, uh, back leg. And then you take advantage of that low kick. Okay. Um, as far as hitting with the, uh, with the foot. So you can use the bony part of your foot as well. And this is something that uh, I had a discussion with Sanchai. And I was asking him, when you throw your inside low kicks here, do you use the uh, the foot or the shin? And he was saying you don't. You can use the you can use the shin, but it's not necessary because then you're getting yourself closer to the target. If I use my shin, you see how much closer I am. So he said, if you just snap that low kick out quickly and and uh, and explosively, and you use the ball of your foot, this part of the bone, then that's gonna hurt just as much. And when he did that, it hurt so much that uh, that inside low kick. So you can just use the boom bony part of your uh, of your foot and keep kicking your opponent there, okay? All right, let's do this drill.